I have in mind a flight plan. We get to the edge of the horizon, we enter, go down till the very bottom, cross it and break through, like Alice through the looking glass, to emerge on the other side in a white hole. We see black holes in the sky, we see matter falling in, and the question, the obvious question is, where does all that go? Science constructs new ways of thinking about the world. Copernicus rearranged completely the structure of how they think the heavens, the earth, by metaphors, by taking images, um, concepts that we understand, and using them in new situations where some part of it works and some part of it does do not work. And that's how we get to understand what we don't know. When I write, I have two readers in mind. One is um, somebody who knows nothing about science, and the other one is uh, a colleague who, um, who knows this thing extensively. I cut out all the detail, all the mathematics, all the parts which are not completely essential, because I think that the person who uh, does not know much about science doesn't care about the details, want to know the core of the story. Copernicus make a huge complicated mathematical world work, but at the end of the day he discovered that the Earth spins and goes around the Sun. So you, in one sentence that's it. And I think when we can uh, summarize a, a new piece of knowledge in this uh, very simple way is when we have understood it. That's where I want to get it. The core of my work as a scientist has been quantum gravity, combining Einstein theory with quantum mechanics. And uh, the theory of loop quantum gravity that I've developed with many others uh, is a tentative solution to this uh, major problem uh, at the core of our understanding of reality. The question is, what does it tell us about the world? How to apply it? Where to apply it? And the black holes, together with the Big Bang, represent the, uh, the physical situation where a quantum theory of gravity can tell us something new about the universe. To answer the question I mentioned before, where does the matter that falls into a black hole go, a quantum theory of gravity is needed. So for me, after having spent most of my life building the quantum theory of, of, of gravity, um, the scientific question became uh, uh, how to apply it, and white hole are the application of a quantum theory of gravity. One possible solution is that uh, uh, inside this matter, quantum tunnels to a white hole from the outside. After some time, we see the black hole becoming a white hole and the matter coming out. So maybe in the universe, there are white holes from which the matter that fell into the black hole will come out. This is what fascinated me, our capacity to use the mind to see what we cannot see directly, to uh, struggle at the border of what we know and in front of what we don't know, trying to see where we don't see, trying to look where we haven't looked before. With all the uncertainty and, and, and the emotions of going into, into the woods in a, in a path without knowing whether it's the right path or not.